camera speed. Now, here is a motion picture film, a thousand feet, 16,000 separate photographs. Let's tidy up this tangle of film by putting it on a reel. Now we'll build a projection machine to show the pictures on a screen. The film unwinds from the reel and rewinds onto another reel after it runs through the projector. To throw the picture on the screen, there is a bright light with a reflector behind it to send the light rays in the right direction and a lens to concentrate the light. The film passes a hole or aperture which lets the light go through only one picture at a time. There is another lens to focus the pictures on the screen. By adjusting the lenses, the picture can be made sharp and clear. Let's start the machine moving. The still pictures blur because they're moving all the time. And this won't do at all. We need something to hold each picture still long enough for us to look at it in between the changes. When the film is started and stopped in rapid succession, the eye sees the changes being made and the result is streaks instead of movies. So we need a shutter to cut off the light while every change of picture is being made and let light through only while the film is standing still. Surprising as it seems, you never see a motion picture while it is actually moving. The only time a movie moves is when the shutter keeps you from seeing the change of picture. Then we see it just the way it looks in real life. Now we have the important parts of a projector for showing motion pictures on the screen, but Let's change that drawing to an actual machine at work. This reel holds the supply of motion picture film which passes through the projector at a speed of 90 feet each minute. Slots on this aperture plate guide the film past the narrow beam of light so that only one picture can be seen at a time. The adjustable lens, which gives us a clear, sharp picture on the screen, is placed in the path of the light rays after they pass through the film. Sprockets, which guide the film as well as start it and stop it, are placed in position to hold the film in proper position at all times. The shutter is placed behind the film to cut off the light at intervals while the pictures change. <laughs> 